Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We're back with a Texas distillery called Iron Root. Which sounds like Iron, Iron Root. Root, which is very much Guardians of the Galaxy. -ish. Let's test it. Test it! Baby Groot style. Promethean style. <laughs> All right, we're in. First thing, it's been at least 20 minutes. Uh, you've been breaking the rule there. I don't think you're at the 20 minute deal. So I'm starting to warm up. Why don't you it's, worry I'm about yourself? The, uh, you are not doing it proper. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> these also, are the Urseri PBTs. We just uh, featured these in the Glenfiddich Fire and Cane video. We're going to test it. I'm showing 0 0.000. Boom. I got 0 0.01. Breaker. It's because you broke. So it's That's because you up, were sipping without Picking the up a little bit. You can also, it's uh, the instructions, it's quite simple. French, Italiano, uh, and Chinese, I believe. Hmm. Mandarin. All right, so we're good. We're done with that. All right. Uh, Urseri, I believe, is what we were saying. So they sent us that. Those are 20 bucks, but it's a good way. Again, I would still, with, with all the Uber and the Lyft and the ride sharing stuff, just use that. But you can check yourself on that, see where uh, see where you're at. Make sure you do that 20 minute. We'll put a link for those down in the description. Yes. And uh, I know that I should have said it in the other show because we'll need to put it in both. Um, the gal did say she'll get a discount code for the dummies that are watching that want to get it too. So I don't know how much that'll be, but there'll be a discount code. All right. So we were down in Austin. We sampled this. Uh, they had a lot of different, we had the cast strength, which was unbelievable, but that was all sold out. We went into a total wine and spirits. I picked this up, by the way, I'm using it. It's bourbon night glass for just a little bit. Uh, maybe half what you got there. That's good. That's um, why you didn't register on the PBT because you had about half of what I had before. Maybe. But you also, I, I followed the rules and waited 20 minutes. So did I. Mm, no, you were taking extra steps where's your, there. Where's your timer at? It's right here, baby. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is the... On. Oh, yep. you need a couple coins? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll just pretend mine would fit on this. Oh, yeah. I do like this, though. It's not it. a huge rocks glass. I got 607. <laughs> I got 608. See, uh, this is bottled at fifty-one point five percent. It's a little bit higher. It is. I didn't reckon. I didn't realize that the other day when I was, I just poured a little sample the other day when I was over. People here. have been coming over, and I've had it sitting on this front table. They've been commenting on, "Oh, that's a nice looking bottle." Mm -hmm. So it's kind of got that what I call the coffin style, but I do like this. He it's is real it? heavy. Yeah, it's got a shallow glass hole. Yep, right there, and then it's got thick glass right there, which makes it. Appealing. Bart just likes to say look. it. Glass hole. Uh, Scotch God shout out real quick goes to Jimmy Drammer. That's a good uh, name, Going way. back to the Dancing Goat uh, Limousin, Limousine. Uh, we were Travis from Dancing Goat. He said, actually, a lot of people just say limo. We'll just say limo would. But what is it? If he's from the goat. Jimmy Drammer saying he's heard it pronounced limousin. Limousin. Yeah. So what would a French person... Since it person, doesn't have the, the E at the end. I want a French person to chime in. Maybe Jimmy Drammer is French. Maybe. He should declare it. Mm -hmm. I'm from southern Limousin. France. Limousin. And I maybe live, that's the way I'd heard it. I, I want someone that lives in Limousin. the region of Limousine or whatever it is. That's what I want. That's all I'm asking for. All right. Um, can I mention anything about December in Iron Root? Or is it too far out? Um, well, we're supposed to go visit them. Bam. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Say well, maybe I, so I say it and you go, no, and then throw, throw a little fit. So I wanted to make sure. Well, what happened? So we're down there. You in got the same shirt on. We're down there in Austin for the opening of the Whiskey Vault, Whiskey Tribes uh, Distillery. Right. And we went out to eat on Friday night. We had a few drinks. Yeah. Different distilleries. 
Um, they're, they're the, cast, iron, the iron roots cast out. strength. Yeah. They're cast strength. And they were there the next day as well mm -hmm. yeah. uh, at the distillery. And again, they just stood out. It did. Um, not that the others were bad. Nope. Good. So we and uh, Robert and Jonathan LaCarish, the uh, owners and distillers were there. And we got to talking to them quite a bit. And so they've invited us down um, in December to come down there in Denison, Texas. Bam, Denison. And Nancy Fraley is going to be there at the same time. Yep. Hopefully. Yep. She's busy. So this is Ooh, labeled God, a bourbon. Good. Uh, bourbon whiskey, aged 16 months. They put it right on here. It's Texan. It's Texas. Uh, we found out that three a three-year-old Texas whiskey is well aged. Yeah. So. So right, that tells you a lot. And this, once again, I get a lot of allspice. Yeah. You can get that oak in there. This definitely smells like it's a lot older than you said. Sixteen months. Yep. Smells older than that. Cinnamon, a little bit of the sagebrush, which yep. we found out yeah. is from Terra. the. It's from the. Yeah, yeah because basically. it gets so hot, we think, or they think, that it gets so warm in their rick houses that you get a little extra something coming out of the wood. Yeah. I always wondered if it was just the, the corn they were using or some of yeah, the barley or, or they when were we using. we had the balconies, we even wondered, like, did they throw some sagebrush in there or yeah. something? I mean, it really was campfire sagebrush-ish. Yeah, but there's you get a little bit of that sagebrush. I call it sagebrush note. Sure. Um, I get a little brown sugar on the finish here, too. It's really got a great nose. It's really that sagebrush is present in all the Texas whiskeys we've had. So the Garrison Brothers, Balconies, Iron Root, some of the other samples we had down there, as well as the Del Bach, the Arizona. Mm, love that. Yeah. Well, I'm getting, there is something else mixed in here, too, as well. A, uh, a sweet something, some kind of a citrus note. Ooh. Why is that sparky on the front? Mm -hmm. Wow. Got heat right on the tip of the tongue. <clears throat> Cinnamon. I'll come back for mid palate. Finishes brown sugar sweet, brown sugar syrup. Just lovely, thick, rich, syrupy sweetness. Very nice. Um, hints of the oak throughout as well. I'll have to come back from the middle. What great, great full palate. Feels like a eight to ten year old whiskey. Mm. It's so rich. It's pulled so much out of the wood. A hint of that sage. You get all the the cinnamons, the caramels, brown sugar. Just full on the palate. Yeah, the mid palate is really more of the oak forwardness. And uh, even there, it gets the mid palate's hard for me to concentrate on because you do get a little bit of that ABV sting on the tongue, a lot of the cinnamons and stuff that are coming in. And it, it's kind of nice because you go with the spark, that oakiness sits on your mid palate, and then it finishes off with the brown sugar sweetness and still the hints of wood, which fade as you go into the finish. Iron root. The other thing I'm going to say, I was drinking this with a Glen Karen. And I wasn't enjoying it as much as when I had a rocks glass. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I was maybe getting too much of the nose or the ABV was stinging me or a little bit, but I wasn't nosing. It was nosing different. And I intentionally started to, I, I started to think, you know, when we sampled this, when I sampled it both times in Texas, the cast strength and their other ones at the table, it was out of more of an open uh, rocks glass. And... And I get a lot more of those woods. See if it nose is different for you. I feel like I can get more out of it when it's in I a box. I don't get near as much nose. Right. I think that's part of it, though. The alcohol, I think, was burning me or shocking. Oh. And I wasn't able to really pick up some of the subtleties when I was using the Glen Karen. And I think it's because of the power that this bad boy punches. The power that this bad boy punches. I thought you might comment on that one. <laughs> I actually thought I think he's going to comment when I say it this way the power that this bad boy punches it packs a powerful punch Woo! see different way of saying it just a touch of water see what happens do you mean the power that this bad boy packs no uh -uh. nope nope it was a whole rephrasing that mm. sent you down that same path without me saying the same thing <laughs> 
Water actually you brought out a little bit more powerful punch. Water actually brought out a little bit more dustiness, a little bit more of the sage, mm. smoothing it out. A mm. mm, little bit more. Yeah, I'll give you buttery, that a grassy note too. A little too. bit more buttery, caramely. Mm. That is interesting because I get a little bit more of like you're saying. I was thinking grassy note, but you're right, the sage ish. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. That's something. Hmm. Now the drop of water that I added probably only brought this down to 48, 49 percent. Yeah, mine was a baby drop, but it from, did change it. That's from 51 and a half. So sample it with a little bit of water. Just see how it shifts around a little bit. That's something. Hmm. Yeah. Um, did you have another Ooh. traveling? We got to score it. We got to talk about it. Is it worth it? It's all good. I'm just wondering if you were queued up. I've got it. Yes. <laughs> Figured maybe you were. <laughs> well, sorry, I wasn't trying to steal from you. Uh, 91, 91. Ooh. What'd you do? 91. 91. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Like it. I did not see you didn't have your one done. I saw your nine. I knew I was going. But interesting. What get uh, even the the cast strength one and I forget what the name of it is. It's like hubris or something. It starts with an H. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realize this one was fifty one percent until we just sat oh, down here yeah. right now. But so many people, and I think either, even Robert and Jonathan even say how much better the cast strength one is over this version. The only thing I can remember is that it was a little thicker. It felt like it carried that that viscousness a little bit more, and it was it was uh, still smooth and strong, but I you had to it kind of lasted a long time because I was sipping at it kind of gently because it is so strong, and and it retained all that viscous strength throughout the sipping of it, and uh, uh, they're putting out some some good stuff. So, I think they're a newer distillery too. They're not that well known yet, but they should. They're gonna blow up. I think so. And do do us this solid. You like how I put that one out? I uh, figured you were okay. waiting. You I've heard sure that. What I, was I have say. heard that one. That one's good. <laughs> um, they had mentioned that already. They were doing a sampling. I think at one of the totals, but I'm not sure. Somewhere in Texas. Oh yeah. It was. And a Scotch Test dummy fan came up and said, "Hey." I heard about this on the dummy show. They said it was really one of the ones that they liked the most, and boom, I wanted to buy some. And so he shouted back at us saying, hey, thanks for, for you know, kind of helping put the word out. So if you see either of the brothers, let them know. Tell them, tell them you got, I, you, you were sent to them by the STDs. I, I remember who it was that, <laughs> that ran into them. Oh, really? Wow, you are so good at that. I have no clue. Bronco Raj. That's who I was thinking. Yep. A fellow Broncos fan <laughs> living in Texas. Bronco Rod. But yeah, I forget. I don't remember if it was Austin or the Fort. It might have been even Fort Worth or Dallas area. Mm, but. Good call, though. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know what? Here's what I picture. You know, they're they're starting to, to open a bottle. There's maybe, you know, four or five people there. And a dummy yells out, STD. And people are like, whoa, <laughs> they're a little shocked. And and then anybody in the know is in the know. And anybody that's not, it's like, why is he, why is he yelling STD? That is it worth it? Seem right. How oh, much yeah. was it? I'm trying to remember because I went a little hog wild in the total. I want to say fifty eight, but you know that's just an approximation. Yeah, I don't remember either. I thought it was the sixty dollar range, and yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, it is because uh, I uh, I asked if they had it, and uh, the guy because what he goes, he looks it up on his phone, and and he says, "Man, we show a case." but I can't find it. So he disappeared and he came back with the case mm. and he opened it. They were all in there and I'm like, pow, like that's mine. <laughs> and I snatched it up. And then he was like, you want to know how much it is? I was like, oh yeah. Because I was going to buy it no matter what. I was going to get it. Short of him saying like eight fifty, dollars that's going back in the box. Yeah. But no, I believe it was $58-ish. Yeah. I don't know what the tax was or anything because I got a, several other bottles at the same time. You know, if... If I'd paid $75 for that and got it home, I don't think I'd be disappointed. I wouldn't be disappointed, but keep the price point where it was, fellas. No, I'm just saying, because we don't know what the price range is. Sure. If I can find the cash I'm range, not telling them to raise whoo, the price. 
If I could find the cash strength, bam, I'd be all over that. You can't find that anywhere. They We even asked them, and they're like, we don't have any at the distillery. It's yeah, gone. and at, it the, is gone. The, at the restaurant, when we had it there, we had like yeah. the last of the bottle that yeah. they had. They divvied up. Yep. Matter of fact, Daniel came around and was like, hey, they still got some of this at the bar, and you can't even find it. You're lucky if you find one at a liquor store. And mm -hmm. then he yelled out, and they're like, we don't have any at the distillery. And I was like, that's what I'm starting with. But they're getting ready to come out with their latest batch. Right. Out. Right, there'll be more. So, so, but I got a feeling it's going to fly off the shelf. Iron root. Iron root. I like that. It works right into the Guardians of the I Galaxy. Am, I am root. All right, now I see a cast four android head looking good. No, traveling, that's a three. That's traveling a three. dummy, rumbout. Yeah. I, laddie. Is that the InnoTrans Mess Berlin? Woo! Love it. Whatever uh, it is, we it, can it, tell it's efficient. It's a, it's a, <laughs> looks like it's one of the speed train stations. I bet it you like. it runs on time, baby. And it says right above his head, Innotrans, the future of mobility. Dang it. So I it must the, be. I want the future. Yeah. And then you can see kind of the, the, the speed bullet train. train. It's bullet, a bullet train. train. That's Ain't it. no speed train. Look at that. That thing looks like a hawk. Looks fast. It's speedy. Sam, where, where do you come up with a hawk? Look at it. Zoom in you on it. You say cheetah. It looks like a cheetah. Oh, please. Speedy. It's a hawk it's fast. Like a gazelle. A hawk. Look at it. What's the, fast? The, a hawk is fast. A cheetah is fast. A gazelle a hawk is, is fast. Fast. I mean, for birds. But look at it. Right. It's got a beakish face. <laughs> ain't no cheetah face. Ain't no cheetah. What'd you call it? Some kind of marsupial? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like a beaver. It's a beaver fast. Look at that. It looks like a beaver. Please. There's, they swim. You see how fast beaver, they can build a dam? A beaver is not a marsupial. They can you build a dam it. like nobody's business. You, that's not a marsupial. they got to have a pouch. Platypi. <laughs> that's plural for a platypus. A lot right. of people don't there know that. There you go. There you go. That's a good pick, though. Look at that. Look at that android head coming out at you. Like Ron Bow. Ron has been uh, following us for yeah. a while. Ron Bow's great. And he's got, he looks like he's had a pedicure. No, a manicure. We didn't see his feet. My bad. All right. What do you got? Patreon shout outs. Woo! Two dollars. We got a shout out coming here for Kevin. On. Here we go. Kevin Matthews. Woo! Double first name, baby. It's been Matthew Kevin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And one new one dollar right, supporter, yeah. Steve Anderson. Steve Anderson. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Steve. you very much, man. Our Patreon Steve funds. Steve with a V. Steve. Our with bread a v. and butter. They help us out tremendously. That's so. right. It's huge. Big help. Big help. I got the old retro hat on. You notice that? It's been away for a while. I had not no, no yeah, I actually, it's been away. I think I had looked at yeah. it but didn't even register. It is. This is classic. Like a lot of your sayings. Thank you. They just fly right over my head. Well, they, right. Marsupial. <laughs> Oh, uh, what do you got? Well, what? we can do it. Like, we know oh. the PBT is going to register high. Right, because again, we, we did that on the last the, one. Yeah, well, we might as well do it again. Hold on, I'm firing it up. You're supposed there to wait. After you drink, yeah. you're supposed to wait up 20 to 20 minutes. minutes. 20 minutes, get a good, clean sample. This so is, this is going to be an adulterated sample. Yeah, because we've got... We've got fresh iron root on the palate. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hold on. Point one four. Yep. yep. I've got oh, caution. Oh, point oh two. Point oh two seven. Mine's cautioning. You are I way over much. the legal limit right there. Yeah. Yeah. But I got some water in there right before. Yeah. Caution. Point two seven. Caution. Point two seven. Point zero two seven. Sorry. Point two seven would be almost dead. Point zero okay. two seven. Trying to yeah. turn it off. Yeah. There. Once you're in, yeah, it, it'll it in. shut itself off. They're assuming. So drink responsibly. Use you Siri. You Siri. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, if we shoot another review, we'll do it at the first of that and kind of see where we're at after two drinks. There you go. Well, yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, October 19th and 20th is coming up in Wichita, Kansas, our oh. fifth year anniversary celebration. Check it out on scotchtestdummies.com. Go take a look. Events tab. Also, you can check out our merchandise, scotchtestdummies.com, on the uh, shirts and the merchandise page. Multiple all glasses, stuff. All help rocks, support the show. Wind Karen, shot glasses, boom. The coins. Support us on Patreon. I'm digging our cast for Spark. I'll greatly appreciate it. There's little secrets in there. Oops, secrets. Scotch it, you scotch guys. So long, Jim. Dummies. Dummies.